Hi guys, whenever you are going to add any support experience in your profile, so in every interview, you will find some questions related to ticket. So ticket can be anything from any business scenario they may ask. It may be related to receivable, payable, asset. So randomly any scenario related questions will be there or sometimes they will ask the question that uh, what are the tickets you have resolved recently? Can you give one or two examples? So it is highly required that you should prepare some tickets with you and before your interview. So I'm going to add one scenario here today, two scenarios I'm going to add that is related to accounts receivable. And like this, I will also add some uh, more tickets uh, on different areas. So let's go th through this ticket and let's understand what will be the approach and what how we are going to resolve it. This particular issue is related to uh, sales, initial, the source is the sales, but uh, the finance team reported this particular issues. So check this ticket. So if we'll check this, uh, issue is related to payment terms. So payment terms not applied correctly in your sales invoice. So uh, this is the uh, questions, let's say you are getting. So what you are going to do here? So first you need to analyze your ticket So uh, or the questions. Here we found that a customer invoice was created or it is created, but the payment terms having some issues or whatever the payment terms it is, uh, uh, it's supposed to be there. It is not properly updated in the customer invoice. That's why because of that, it is going to a wrong or it is showing a wrong due date calculation or it is also impacting our aging report. So this is how, this is your scenarios. In that case, how you are going to resolve the issue. To understand this one or to demonstrate this one practically, I have created one customer invoice in the SAP system. Right now, uh, I'm in a BL5N and uh, if you'll check here, it's showing that the due date is immediately. So the, the due date is today's date, that is 25th October date, right? Now, in this case, what is the issue here? The payment terms is not properly updated here. So the due date what as per the payment terms it's not immediately due the payment term supposed to be let's say after 15 days or after some days but as in the sales invoice the payment term is updated incorrectly so that is why this particular invoice showing immediate due as we know that whenever it is customer invoice or it is integrated with your sd payment terms we are not going to add manually in the customer invoice while processing it because we are going to create the sales order and sales order will be converted into your invoice so that's that's why the source of this particular error is not related to customer invoice or it is not related to finance finance is now going to proceed with the collection but the source is related to your SD team. So two things you are going to check. One option is you are going to check the business partner master data or your customer master data. So there we will find out what is the payment terms it is updated. So you have to check uh, where the payment terms is updated. So as you know that two areas we have where we can update the payment terms in master data. One segment will be the finance segment if it is non-sales order invoice. But as you can see this particular invoice is not related to non-sales order invoice. Document type is RV means it is your integrated document. So that means the payment terms should be updated in your SD segment of your business partner. I'm using S4, so that's why it is my business partner. And in business partner, I'm going to check the sales and distribution segment of our business partner. And it is related to my billing. So we need to check in the billing tab that what is the payment terms updated. So here I can see the payment term is updated as Z001. Now we need to check from the finance point of view, what is this payment terms Z001. Now as per this payment terms, it's showing that, let's go into detail, it's showing that the due date supposed to be 15 days and uh, the different uh, parameters are there for the discount calculation. So business as per the business requirement, the payment term supposed to be updated with Z001 because this same is updated in my business partner and as it is there in the business partner, same should be there in the customer invoice flowing from your sales document. Now let's check here what is the business payment terms is updated. Now in this case, uh, just to show you the error, I have uh, updated this particular payment terms. Otherwise, normally what happened, like if you have updated the master record, automatically the same payment, payment terms will flow to the document until unless if someone is not going to change anything. Now in this case, uh, sales order created. Let's check the complete process. So sales order created, sales order number 108. So let's note all the details. So your sales order number is 108. The same sales order is converted into delivery document and uh, here we can see the delivery document is 8 some 0 last 76. Let's note it, it will be required some 076. Then after that uh, 
goods issue is also done outbound delivery converted into pgi so material document is there and with reference to that also we have uh, accounting and copa related uh, informations are there but in this particular ticket it is nothing related to copa or we are not going to discuss that one now we need to see that initially the master data updated correctly so there is no issue with the master data but while processing the sales document now we are going to check which payment terms it was updated in the sales document so now we are going to check the sales document now in the sales document i can see the payment term is updated as 001 master rate is updated with z001 this is my business partner business partner is updated with z001 while processing the sales order the user wrongly updated or maybe tampered or maybe overwritten something happened here the wrong payment terms is updated as per these payment terms the invoice is immediately due for collection whereas as per the contract it should be 15 days due right now what we are going to do master data is perfect so we are not going to disturb anything related to master data now we are reviewing our documents or transactions so we review the sales order so now i am in the sales order it is transaction code va03 and uh, this one is uh, not correct so the sales order which is created that need to be modified with the right payment terms so that means in this case i am going to correct my payment terms instead of 001 it should be z001 as for my example but problem is with reference to this sales order already you can see the billing document is processed as billing document is processed in sd automatically our integrated document is also posted or customer invoice is posted so this need to be cancelled the sales order need to be corrected but before that the billing document need to be cancelled so we need to clear the billing document first then only it is going to work so we have to uh, the correction should be correct first we have to correct the billing document now we need to cancel this billing document means we need to reverse it because this billing terms as per this billing document the due date is immediately so we need to correct it first so this billing document i am going to correct cancel billing document and when i'm going to cancel the billing document what the customer invoice originally we have one due invoice was that that need to be reversed so process it okay so new document generated as we cancel this particular billing document or sd invoice now check here your fbl5 and once again to get the status of your customer open items now you can see here the document is reversed there is no due item available so original invoice was this one and uh, that i reversed cancel now we are going to correct our document the sales order so go to v02 sales order i'm not going to create once again just we will update the new payment terms in the sales order so instead of this payment term we are going to correct our payment terms the right payment terms okay and processed done now we are going to reprocess our billing document because with reference to this sales order new billing document supposed to be there because the old one is already cancelled so process that one so now as uh, i updated my payment terms in my sales order so with reference to the new update the new billing document should be generated so we are going to update the or reprocess of the billing document you can say so go to vf01 and here you need to select your order there is no change in the shipping shipping process is perfectly posted so there will be no change only thing is you need to check the old document this one this is our billing document this is our order sorry delivery note so this delivery note we need to reprocess or we delivery note we need to once again we are going to convert into billing document so check this one and post now with this you will find a new customer invoice will be there with the new payment term so i got a new billing document 69 so original billing document was 67 then i cancel that billing document we got 68 then the new one is posted and with this you will find a new customer invoice refresh okay so this is our customer uh, new invoice last time it was due immediately okay so this is our new date now if customer is going to make the payment early then discount will appear 
So this is how you, your answer should be included all the steps. So if we quickly re uh, recap, what are the things? So first thing is you need to check your master data. So I check the business partner to verify what is the original payment terms done. Next, we need to review the documents related to our customer uh, in invoice. But I, I found that this is a sales order related customer invoice. So I checked my uh, sales order. What is the right payment terms updated, whether the right payment terms updated or not. And there I found a different payment terms was there. So with reference to the wrong billing document generated so i cancelled that one the wrong billing document with reference to that i got a reversal document posted then i updated my payment terms the correct payment terms in the sales order and once again reprocessed the sales order or the delivery note into billing document so in this process there will be no impact in your outbound delivery because it was perfectly posted so this you can add in, in your answer or in your example so if you have any questions Please mail me. I will also create that one scenario for that and I will explain you. So in another video, I will show you another ticket related to same receivable papers.